What's up, desktopers? In this video today, we're discussing Milos Sarchev reveals Samson Dowder is using Trend for his 2023 Arnold Classic prep. We find out how much he's using, when he started using it, plus much more. Also, I compare photos from Samson Dowder at the 2022 Arnold Classic, 2022 Mr. Olympia, and now as he's only weeks out, the 2023 Arnold Classic, where he goes in as one of the favorites, and I discuss whether I actually have him winning that 2023 Arnold Classic. So all that plus much more coming up in this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding. And before we get into this one, I want to encourage you guys, if you like and appreciate this type of content, give this video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button for more 2023 Arnold Classic preview videos. And also as well, if you want to get that Arnold Classic pay-per-view, get it now. You'll save yourself 10% by using Desktop 10. Supports me as well. Supports bodybuilding by supporting the Arnold Classic make sure you guys get around that. But let's get into it now. Now, Mil Sarchev was on the Menace podcast with uh, not only himself, also Chris Cormier, Dennis James, and Victor Martinez. And he had some interesting comments about Samson Dowda and what he's using for that 2023 Arnold Classic. So let's watch that now and I'll respond to it. I can say maybe a uh, director. Well, there, there's certain supplement that he didn't ever want to use it because it was he, he thought it would be affecting him you know, so uh, psychologically, so he, he wouldn't be able to take it, but I finally convinced him to do take it. What, what are we talking about? Uh, supplement. Oh, no, <laughs> see, no, you never fucking... Give us the... Give us the all of a sudden... Uh, tremble, uh, all, okay? Tremble. <laughs> I, I, I figured that, but all of a sudden, you're a chain. So Miller spills it eventually. Tremble on, tremble on. That's obviously what Samson Dowder has added into his 2023 Arnold Classic Prep, which is trend, which is obviously everyone talks about it at the moment. It's obviously probably one of the most talked about ones online right now. Changed man, what happened? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You wanna you wanna keep a, like a little bit of. Uh, so so was he worried? Does he go nuts on on trend? That, that that's one thing that uh, we didn't use all this time because it just uh, it, it would affect him badly, so he didn't want to use it. And uh, yeah, but in what in what way? Like aggressive. Yeah, aggressive yeah. Just, uh, didn't didn't want to do it, you know. Yeah. So you know, that's obviously a personal choice for everyone as well. And I can actually confirm this is one hundred percent the truth. So when people hear this sort of stuff and go, "Oh no, Samson was doing it before," no, Samson wasn't one hundred percent because I actually helped Samson out for a short period of time back around when the pandemic was starting and his contest got cancelled, so we didn't get to see that prep through. Unfortunately, it was me and um, his partner Malenka as well both working together with Samson because he was out of a coach and um, was just going to do it with him and Marlenka. I said, look, I can, I can help a little bit um, and do a little bit. We had some ideas and actually it's funny enough, suggested some of the things Milos has sort of done, you know, cutting the carbs out from breakfast and a few of those other things that he was resistant towards at the start. And was, we never did um, when I was sort of giving some advice and stuff as well. So it's obviously Milos has a huge amount of credibility in the sport, but, it's taken several shows you guys will hear um, for Samson to actually decide to actually take this compound because he didn't like the way it made him feel. But obviously with 300K on the line, you know, using for a short period of time, I think most people would probably bite that bullet at that stage. But my athletes don't want to do something. I don't push it. You know? yeah. tell, him, so, get, tell him, get some of that fake stuff, then it won't happen. Yeah, we already <laughs> did that. Like for, uh, we, did, we did like eight shows without yeah. it. Oh, like, really? Yeah, before, yeah. All the, oh. this, we don't like it, we don't take it. Okay, there is not, no, we're not going to do it. So this time, I said, okay, let's do that teeny tiny little bit, like spit in the ocean. And uh, and uh, and he loved it, right? What's a little bit? Hmm? What is there not to love? <laughs> What's a little bit? 300 milligrams a week? Actually, we started with 100, uh -huh. then 150, then 200, and we had three. Yeah. yeah. And that's good so, enough. If it's so that's awesome from Milos that he doesn't push his clients to do anything. And it really was, you know, a drop in the ocean. But as he mentioned, this stuff is strong. So it works in small amounts as well. So it's a cautionary tale that a guy the size of Samson Dowd, I'm assuming he's over 300 pounds. I don't think they're weighing him during this prep as well. But at the Mr. Olympia, he was 294. So I'm assuming he's probably maybe a few pounds up on that right now. 
um, before he strips it all back and, and dries out and all that sort of stuff. So crazy impressive that he's able to use such a small amount. Obviously, he went from 100 um, MG a week up to now 300. But really, I've heard of amateurs, you know, Miller says, you know, up to 2,000 a week, which is absolute insanity. And I can only imagine the side effects would be crazy because you hear of guys using anything over, you know, 150 or 100 or even 200 they'll very noticeably notice the side effects of this, which can include sweating at night, sweating out yellow, just about out of your skin. Guys get irritable and it depends on the person as well, the personality type. So that's why Samson was sort of resistant against it to some point. So super interesting there from Milos Archev. And I appreciate um, from Milos's camp or Samson's camp and, and Milos about all the honesty because it's one of those things that's an unsaid sort of thing back in the day. And now guys are being much more open about it, which I think actually helps because so many of these guys are coming out and being open about it now. Yes, there are still the extreme people that will say what they take. And it does, I think, negatively influence what you know younger kids, impressionable people actually do. But I think it's great that guys like this are so honest. And it goes to show that if a guy like Samson has competed at a Mr. Olympia and got sixth place not using this compound, it goes to show that it's not the be all and end all, but it obviously is very effective in there is a reason why they actually have added it in. But let's check out some recent updates from Samson Data, which guys are actually seeing on the screen right now. So let's check out these latest updates from Samson Data, which you guys are seeing on the screen obviously right now. And that back video is the one where you really notice the difference in Samson Data's physique because there is a certain level of hardness that just sort of shows up. And for me, that's the difference. Samson's one of these guys where he's added so much fresh muscle that it hasn't had the time to mature. And that sounds, it's a sort of a bro sciencey term, but when you notice the guy's got that certain level of muscle, it's staying on his physique for a while. It just seems to get harder and harder. But if it's fresh muscle and it's just been added and it's a lot, then it doesn't seem to have that certain level of hardness. Now, Samson still added a ton of muscle, but using a compound light trend, I think will probably make a huge difference because that muscle will push out harder against the skin. There should be no issue with fullness. They might not even have to carb up to the same level as the Mr. Olympia where I know they went hard and they filled Samson right up. And that's why he looked obviously a lot bigger, not just the added muscle, but also coming in fuller again. Now, if they can fill out to close that level, obviously using different compounds and just more added muscle because Samson is evolving. As you guys can see on the screen right now, this back shot is absolutely insane. So with the addition of Trent, it seemed to have made definitely some difference. And this was three weeks out of the 2023 Arnold Classic. It sounds like he hasn't been using the compound for long. And look at that difference from three weeks out on the left from the 2022 Arnold Classic. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Honestly, like, I don't know if I've seen a game like this in one year ever. <laughs> Maybe Derek Lunsford, you could say, but this is crazy crazy gains and you can see the difference as well just in roundness look how his shoulders pop up look at the traps the traps look like they've at least his upper traps have tripled in size it looks like but i've said to samson for many years i said you've got you know a lot of muscle on your physique but you've got so much more room to add muscle which leaves you with a huge potential and i said this to samson privately and yeah, obviously there is a difference in lighting. One's outside, one's in a gym, probably better lighting. You're finding the best lighting in a gym, but still you can see how much more meat is on the back. Look at the hamstrings, look at the glutes. The glutes are harder as well. Like everything looks harder. Everything looks bigger. Everything looks rounder. I'm just so impressed with these recent updates from Samson Dowder. And you can see the one here on the right. That's a recent photo from the gym. You can see him on the left there, very full chest and everything from Mr. Olympia, but he looks harder now. Now, obviously, different photos. One's in a gym, one's with a photographer. Well, we're both photographer images, but obviously very different circumstances. But I think Samson Dowder, we're going to see an all-time harder Samson Dowder. We're going to see an all-time bigger Samson Dowder. And will that be enough to beat a most likely improved big Rami? Chad Nichols has said that was a prep that, Everything went wrong in. The stem cells apparently are working. If they are, and Big Rami's dramatically improved, Big Rami beat Samson at the Olympia, but I don't know if that will be the case at this Arnold Classic. And I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to change my predictions for the Arnold Classic and I'm going to predict Samson Dowder to win the 2023 Arnold Classic. I think it will come down to potentially a final three call out if Andrew Jack brings what Team Andrew Jack to saying that he's going to bring it this Arnold Classic as long as nothing goes wrong. It could be potentially down to Andrew Jackson, Samson Dowder. And that's no disrespect to Nick Walker because Nick Walker can blow everyone away. And he's the safest bet. If I was betting my life on it, I'd probably say Nick Walker, but it would be close now. 
because I am so impressed with Samson and I think that I'll be so impressed with Andrew Jack as well. And Sean Clarita, William Bonac is looking mental. There's so many good guys right now, but I believe Samson Dowder can win the 2023 Arnold Classic. And if he continues to improve that physique, he's improving so much. I think you win the 2023 Mr. Olympia, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you haven't got your pay-per-view pay for the 2023 Arnold Classic, order it now. The link is in the description below. Use Desktop 10. You support me, support Desktop Bodybuilding to make more videos, and you support Bodybuilding, and you support the Arnold Classic for all that they're doing. They put up an extra 100K for the winner out of their own pocket, and they made this Arnold Classic one of the most exciting coming up in years. So credit to the Arnold Classic people, support them, get the pay-per-view. I will be doing a live watch party as well, so make sure you tune into that. That will be live while the Arnold Classic's on. So purchase the pay-per-view if you want to listen to my commentary. Get in my comments. I'll be answering you guys live. I'll be interacting, trying to bring as much content to you guys over the Arnold Classic weekend as possible. So that's it for this episode of Desktop Bodybuilding. If you like the video, if you appreciate the content, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So that's it for me, Xavier Wills. This is Desktop Bodybuilding and we are out. <laughs>